Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about the low voltage power supply design. If I say low voltage, it's a very very low voltage and you can see here my output voltage is 1.8 volt. So, so you might have a question that where this power supply will be used. This is very low voltage and where can we use this power supply, this 1.8 low voltage power supply, okay. So why do, do we want to design this low ultra low voltage power supply that is 1.8 volt power supply? What is the application of 1.8 volt power supply, okay. So this is, this is very important question and to answer this question let me say this is this is called cmos logic power supply that means 1.8 volt logic okay so the main application of this 1.8 volt power supply is logic voltages it is nowadays widely used in the microprocessor okay so you can see many microprocessor which are nowadays coming in a low voltage and which is around to 1 volt 1.8 volt of power supply so in a nutshell the application of this 1.8 power supply is you can use in many microprocessor these days right so so let me explain how this circuit works let me explain the data sheet of this LT3008 and then then later I will run the simulation and I will show you the input signal how you can generate the PWL signal and what is the output signal what is the load current and what is the current flowing through this capacitor okay so if you see the data sheet of lt3008 series you can see it is very it is having very low quotient current iq that is 3 microampere it has load current 20 milliampere and the input voltage is 45 volt and it is called low dropout linear regulator from linear technology okay from linear technology so you can see the features it's very ultra low quotient current up to 3 microampere the input voltage range is 2.0 volt to 45 volt the output current is 20 milliampere and the most important thing is the drop drop out voltage is 300 millivolt okay you, so adjustable output is 600 millivolt so you can you can get 600 millivolt by using this LDO or low dropout regulator. You can also see it is available in the fixed version that is 1.8 volt, 1.5 volt, 1. Point, sorry 1.2, 1.5, 1.8, 2.5, 3 3.3 and 5 volt and if you see the output tolerance you can see it's 2 percent that is overload line and temperature and you can get a stable output if you use low ESR ceramic capacitor with the minimum value of 2.2 microfarad and you can see this is having the shutdown current which is less than 1 microampere this is very important to understand if you are using this for your battery related battery application your shutdown current is very play plays a vital role so you can see it has very low shutdown current that is one microampere current limit protection it has internal current limit protection it has also reverse battery protection thermal limit pro now let us come back in the simulation again so you can see this this is input and this is shutdown pin so input and shutdown piece is tied together and connected to the source voltage or V1 or input voltage and this is active low shutdown right active low shutdown and this is ground pin which is connected to the ground at output you can see your sense pin is connected tied together with output 
okay so your sense pin is connected to the output since this is fixed version LDO that is why your sense pin is connected to the output and now you can see I have used 2.2 microfarad ceramic capacitor to have a stable output and you can see for the moment I used 90 90 ohm load resistance so that I can get the maximum current of 20 milliampere right so let me now let me know now show you how will you generate PWL signal okay so this is kind of ramp signal if you say PWL this is kind of ramp signal and if you right click on here on the voltage source and you now you can see uh, I have selected here PWL and you can see time is initially zero and voltage is initially zero at time t at time t equals to two second your output would become 12 volt so i will simul i will show you the waveform how you how this pwl signal looks like okay so this this i will show you so now i will run the transient analysis so to run the transient analysis you have to go on simulate button and you have to edit the simulation command and you have to select the transient you can see transient and the stop time for this simulation i took is two second so i will click on ok okay now just go here this is run button and click here okay so let me what i do is let me show you the input voltage so you can see the net here i in that indicates the input voltage and your, you can see your, your input voltage is ramping from 0 volt to 12 volt over the period of time over the period of time of 2 seconds that means your input voltage is ramping from 0 to 12 volt over the time span of 2 seconds so this is your input voltage now let me show you the output voltage you can see you can see your output voltage here this is the transient time and you can see your output voltage is here one point around 1.8 volt okay you can see here you can see this is 1.8 volt you can see some cursor somewhere here so let me explain how this how this circuit works by using this waveform window right so you can see as as long as your input is input is how much your input is below your output so what is your output your output is 1.8 volt so as long as your input is below your output your your output that means your your what what i would say that means your ldo is not in operation that means your output is appearing here 0 volt okay and as soon as your input rises from 1.8 volt with the dropout voltage of 300 millivolt that means 1.8 volt plus 300 millivolt that will become 2.1 volt and you can see this is the point you can see here guys this is the point where, you, where your input voltage is 2.1 volt right 2.1 volt and you can see as soon as your input voltage reaches to 2.1 volt you can see a stable output voltage which is 1.8 volt okay so so that is how your LDO works okay so let me show you now the current waveform and you can see the same behavior of current when your LDO is not in operation current flowing through this R load you can see in red the current flowing through this R load is zero at this region and as soon as your input voltage reaches to 2.1 volt here somewhere you can see this point your your LDO has stable output current which is 20 milliampere as I already explained the you can draw the maximum current from this LDO is 20 milliampere so you can see I can I can get here 20 milliampere current with the stable output voltage okay this is the v out you can see this is v in that is blue green is v out and red is the load 
and now let me show you the how capacitor charges behaves so if you want to see the current across the capacitor which is given by ic1 and you can see as soon as your ldo start up start its up operation you can see the current flowing through this capacitor is uh, the capacitor draw is around 35 milliampere okay this 2.2 microfarad capacitor draw around 35 milliampere so this is the i would say this is the current across the capacitor now let me show the power dissipation across this ldo or u1 so i will show you the power dissipation and you can see the power dissipation and you can see this formula here the calculation here so you can see the power dissipation now it has come in orange and the power dissipation is around you can see here you can see here when your input voltage is around 12 volt your power dissipation is 200 millivolt you guys hope you have understood how will you design 1.8 volt power supply by using lt3008 if you have any further question feel free to ask me in comment section thanks for watching this video